Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 horror movie masks. Halloween. You know, the one with the guy in the white mask who walks around and stalks babysitters. For this list, we're looking for the most iconic horror movie masks that have sent chills down our spines and found their way into our nightmares. Everybody has a secret face. Number 10, button mask, Nightbreed. Mm, How do you know my name? Oh, that's a good question. There are subterranean monsters, disfigured humanoids, undead creatures, but the masked serial killer takes the cake of them all. You're crazy. No, I'm deaf. Plain and simple. This movie may have flown under the radar as a cult classic, but the button mask worn by the film's villain, Dr. Decker, is clearly the star of the show. The button eyes and zipper mouth really up the creep factor, which is saying something, as he's already a knife-wielding murderer. Number 9, Pig Mask, Saw Franchise. Pigs don't generally inspire fear, but combine a somewhat unsettling representation of a swine's head with brutal deaths and gut-wrenching horror soon follows. Worn by Jigsaw and his accomplices to hide their identities and representing the Zodiac year in which the killer began his reign of terror, this gruesome disguise dials up the dread in an already horrifying scenario. Your mouth will be permanently ripped open. Think of it like a reverse bear trap. Seeing that pig mask is pretty much a sign that you're already screwed. Choice. <laughs> Number eight, Mrs. Tredoni mask. Alice, sweet Alice. Alice! The film's overall unnerving tone is heightened by the appearance of a clear mask with a horrible makeup job. And when it's paired with a violent yellow raincoat, well, unsettling is an understatement. In the hands of a child, it's kind of eerie maybe even a little disturbing, but on the face of a killer, that ghastly eyeshadow and sinister permanent smile is the stuff of night terrors. Put it on. Number seven, the hag, curtains. Make me love you. Make me desire you. Auditioning for a movie role is terrifying enough, but when you add a murderer into the mix, things become slightly more intimidating. The hag mask is pretty terror-inducing, with its deep, hollow eyes and frown of murderous intent. A sickle, a few rival actresses, and lethal determination bring new meaning to the term fierce competition. Have you ever wanted something so badly you'd do anything for it? Me? I wanted to be an actress. Number six, babyface killer, the hills run red. You know that part about the cutting off the face and stitching on the mask? We made that up for the movie. He actually did it. This mask is a fairly recent addition to the horror genre, but it doesn't skimp on the scary. It might be the shattered human jaw combined with the cracked porcelain cheeks, or the creepy baby face doll, or the fact that it's just held on with barbed wire. Good and tight. I have to finish this. Or it might be that there's a vicious murderer behind the mask, but this is definitely the film's main freakout. You can keep singing if it makes you feel better. Number five, Hannibal Lecter, The Silence of the Lambs. Good evening, Clarice. The fact that this otherwise cool, calm, and collected middle-aged gentleman has to be restrained with a straitjacket and muzzle pretty much says it all. Seething with cannibalistic intent and the curious appetite of a thousand stoners, Hannibal the Cannibal's mask serves as a constant reminder that he can straight up kill you whenever he wants. <laughs> and eat your organs with a complimentary beverage. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. Number four, Ghostface, Scream franchise. No, please don't kill me, Mr. Ghostface. I want to be in the sequel. <laughs> the ghost face mask seems like it was designed to inspire the perfectly crafted scare. The gaping eye holes, the contorted mouth, the white on black coloring, 
It's not a mask you want to see showing up in your dreams. Or at your door. Aside from the campy but clever film, the ghost face mask has become synonymous with sharp scares and even sharper knives. Number three, Leatherface, Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise. As a general rule, cannibals tend to be a little off-putting. A cannibal wearing a mask made of human faces and carrying this is probably the worst. However, it's the mask made of the skin of his victims that truly drives home the absolute bone-chilling fright of Leatherface. Of course, the chainsaw and his massive size pretty much mean instant death. I'll be free of you. Number two, Michael Myers, Halloween franchise. Do you like my mask? Who knew that a Captain Kirk mask could haunt the dreams of children, and most adults, for generations? Was that the boogeyman? I do believe it was. Armed with almost supernatural killing abilities, Michael Myers is the killer that keeps on killing. And his super creepy mask, complete with matted hair and hollow eyes, delivers the kind of terror that makes you need a nightlight. As if that would help. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Why are you wearing that stupid funny suit? Jason, Friday the 13th franchise. The third installment of the Friday the 13th film franchise forever changed the way we would view sports equipment. Jason Voorhees dons his classic mask for the first time in this film, and thus, nightmares were born. relative harmlessness behind a hockey mask is replaced with homicidal bloodlust as Jason kills teenager after horny teenager. 